Let's go back into the mists of time. A world ruled by the might of the Roman Empire. The site of a Celtic factory. Perhaps it was built under the supervision of the mysterious druids of the Coriatani tribe, who occupied this area, perhaps, to carry out their pagan religious rites here. All the praying in the world couldn't protect the ancient Britons from the might of the Roman Emperor Claudius when his legions invaded in 43 AD. The advancing armies built a network of roads on their main strongholds. The roads were protected by forts at regular intervals. Southwest of the modern city, near to where the Roman Ricknell Street crossed Watling Street, near the village of Wall, were the remains of a settlement known as Letacetum by the Romans, which is probably an alteration of the Celtic name Letacetum, which means town by the grey wood. This was originally a military base, but later a civilian settlement with traders, soldiers and family groups came to be built alongside the fort. At its peak in the late 2nd century, the town straddled Watling Street for about a mile, with a large bathhouse and a substantial guesthouse or mansio built to serve the many travellers between London, Roxeter and Chester. The mansio would have almost certainly contained the statue of the goddess Minerva, to whom wayfarers would make an offering in return for a safe journey. But by the 4th century, adoration of Minerva and the numerous other gods of the Roman Empire were under threat from a new religion. The influence of Christianity was spreading to the far-flung provinces. Taking St John the Baptist Church wall into the 21st century with the Mott Room extension. One needs to know a little bit about the history of Litchfield and the surrounding area. Wall House, with the accompanying manorial rights, was bought by William Mott, founder of the family fortunes. He also built a mansion house with its coach house, granary, brew house, stables, outbuildings and gardens, or pleasure grounds, all of which are freehold in the cathedral close in Litchfield. The Litchfield lawyer and deputy diocesan registrar died in 1826 and was succeeded by his son, John Mott. Like his father, John Mott was also a solicitor and deputy registrar of the diocese and a very wealthy man. John Mott commanded the Litchfield troop of the Staffordshire Yeomanry. Horse racing was very much in the family blood. John Mott kept horses at his house in the Cathedral Close. John bred one or two horses from a mare called Goldfinder. He belonged to Dr William Palmer. Three years later, William Palmer, the surgeon from Rugeley, was hanged after being found guilty of poisoning by strychnine. John Mott himself died in 1869. His heir was his son William, who died in 1887. John Mott's grandson, the Reverend William Kynaston Mott, 1840 to 1889, known in the family as Willie. He never married. In September 1889, he dropped dead in the paddock at Derby Racecourse. His estates passed on to his nephew, Roger Mott, who was aged 12 years old at the time. Roger's father, Charles Mott, died in 1886. Charles was the brother of the Reverend William Kynaston Mott. 
1919, Roger sold Wall House and five acres of land to Captain Robert Hilton, who sold both the house and land in 1920 to Colonel, later Brigadier General, Claude Westmacott, then living at No Lodge in Litchfield. Brigadier General Westmacott died in 1948 and the estate was sold to Mrs. Christina Bather of Litchfield. Following her death in 1984, the house was bought by Mr. Michael Bolland and his wife Janet. They were the owners in 1986. Roger Mott also bought Wall Hall, another large house close to Wall House. It was also called the White House, but Roger let it out and in 1919 it was sold to Colonel George Kay, whose widow in 1942 sold the estate to W. J. Ryman, later of Manor Farm. In 1987 the house was sold to Mr. David Dunger and his wife Jane, better known as the actress Jane Rossington, who played the part of Jill in the TV series Crossroads. The present owner, Mr. A.J. Mahon. The link to Wall House and St. John the Baptist Church at Wall and the name Mott. In the year of our Lord 1840, John Mott of Wall House gave a grant of land and an endowment of £700 for the church and graveyard of St. John's at Wall. It was augmented by funds which included £500 left by Robert Hill, probably the owner of Wall House, or a relation of his, who died in 1812. Further money for the endowment was raised by public subscription. The church of St John the Baptist is built of, of local standstone to a design by George Gilbert Scott. St John the Baptist Church Wall was consecrated in 1843, though in 1839 the firm of Scott and Moffat, i.e. George Gilbert Scott, had invited tenders for the work. The stained glass window on the south side nearest the font is by the well-known artist Kemp, and if you look carefully you'll see the wheat chief, which is his trademark. All this was researched by Romulus Plimmer. A uh, book, Township of Wall with Pipe, Pipe Hill, a volume in the Victoria History of the County of Stafford, volume 14. John Mott Esquire, main residence, was his father's mansion house in the Cathedral Close. Man of Distinction, Sheriff of Lichfield in 1836, Mayor of Lichfield 1850 and 1851. He was a very distinguished gentleman in the city and county of Lichfield and in the surrounding area. Portraits of Henrietta and John were painted in 1830. A picture of John's wife, Henrietta, wearing an ermine cloak, and John wearing the uniform of the Staffordshire Yeomanry. John Mott died at the age of 82 in 1869. Henrietta, John Mott's wife of many years, died the year before he did.
the Mott legacy. As well as the church left to us by the Mott family whilst residing at War House, it was reported in the Warsaw Observer and Staffordshire Chronicle on the 31st of August 1912 that an excavation was carried out by the Staffordshire Field Club in conjunction with the landowner, Mr R.J.K. Mott of War House, on a piece of land just below the church and to the north of Watling Street Wall, on an area we now know locally as the ruins but was in fact the site of the Roman remains, consisting of a bathhouse and mansio. By the outbreak of the First World War, the site was receiving regular visitors, and there were reports of progress being made to further excavate the site. Appearing regularly in local newspapers, a small museum had also been established displaying finds from the site. Mr Mott had by this time employed Mr Brooks from the village to act as a custodian. It was later reported in the same newspaper that Mr Mott, who I believe was or became known as Major Mott, had been called to arms and excavation at the site had been temporarily halted. Some short time later, it was also reported that Mr Brooks had also been called to arms and the site and museum would be closed until the cessation of, his of hostilities. One thing is certain though, that Christianity has been practiced over many centuries in Wall and before the coming of Chad to Litchfield. Hopefully the presence of the Mott Room will ensure that worship on this site shall continue for many years to come. Work is about to start on this long-awaited extension. Linda Hoskins representing St John's Church, Daniel the foreman and Nick Challiner, the builder are going over the plans to start the way forward. We have the architect's plans in hand and measurements are being made we need to be very careful that the stained glass window is in no way harmed. Twenty first of January, Tuesday morning. The builders are just about now to make a start. <laughs>
the much needed building will provide the church with a glass extension on the north side. It will house a toilet, a small extra meeting room and a storage area and kitchenette. This exciting development will allow the church community of Wall to continue to be a vibrant and relevant Christian presence within the village.
especially to Bishop Jonathan, we gather to dedicate and celebrate the extension now named the Mott Room. This vision has been made possible by your support in very many ways. So it is good to be able to say thank you one and all. We'd like to invite you to join us after the service in the Village Hall um, to celebrate today. And you're also invited to come to our open house to see the Mott Room and have a cup of coffee. Um, we'll be open on Monday this week, 2nd of June, 7 till 8.30. Tuesday, 3rd of June, 2 till 3 in the afternoon. And on Wednesday morning, 10 till 12. So please come and see the extension next week. Thank you.
And can you all please stand? Blessed are you, Lord God of life and love. From your open hands we have been blessed with so much. In grateful thanks for all that we have received, and in particular for all the gifts and skills that have contributed to the planning and building of this extension, we come now to dedicate this space and bless it for our use and to the glory of your name. Blessed be God forever. In the faith of Jesus Christ, who builds us into his body, the Church, and for the benefit of your people in this place, we dedicate this room to the glory of God and in memory of the Mott family. May all who come here find welcome and hospitality. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
for anyone's patience. <laughs> Thank you.